All right, are we recording? Yes, do we have audio? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. How are we doing? How are we feeling? We living good. Guys, welcome back. On this episode, we're making spicy harissa chicken thighs. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Okay guys, for this recipe, super, super simple. All you're gonna need, some chicken thighs. I got bone in, skin on, that's important. We wanna cook that with all the flavor in there. We want that crispy skin. This, this is the magic right here, harissa paste. Super easy to find. This is North African spice blend. It's basically chili, some garlic, some cumin. Uh, it's all blended together. You get a nice, punchy, spicy flavor. You can get it in any supermarket. Any international section is gonna have this. Just look for harissa paste. It's a great little pantry item to have. That's it. Oh, and then I'm gonna put some honey in there. So we're gonna balance it out a little spicy, a little sweet. First things first, let's get these chicken thighs just laid out on our sheet tray. Now, the reason I'm keeping the bone in, that bone has a lot of flavor for when you're cooking. The trade-off, it's gonna take more time. What that does, the bone is very dense. It conducts heat. It's gonna cool all the meat around it, make it longer to heat up. We're gonna go in with like two heaped tablespoons of harissa paste. Look at that, and the smell. Woo! You can smell that kick. It gets you fired up, it gets you going. It's a little nice, little punchy in there. And then some honey. I'm just doing the honey to balance it out. You can make this with just the harissa paste. It'd be totally fine. I just have a little honey because I want some sweetness in there. It's also gonna get a nice little char on top when it goes in that oven. The sugar is gonna caramelize a little bit. It's gonna get a little black in. That's kind of what I'm going for. It's gonna be beautiful. Just mix that in, mix that together, and then boom, just start going on those chicken thighs right on top and pat your chicken thighs dry. Make sure that they're all dry with a nice paper towel, get all that moisture off. And now just rub that in, flip it over, massage it in. Absolutely gorgeous. Bang, that's it. That's all she wrote. Put those off to the side. You wanna give them a little separation because if, if they're too close together, if they're on top of each other, it's not gonna get crispy. It's not gonna get nice and charred. It's gonna steam. It's gonna be a little bit rubbery. We don't want that. We want nice color on these. Oven is set to 400 degrees. That's important, get that preheating. I'm gonna rinse my hands. All right, so what I just thought of, what I'm gonna do, okay, so, okay, here we go. We're splashing around, we're dinging things up. To go along with our chicken thighs, just to make it more of a balanced meal, I'm gonna have, I have these little purple potatoes that I've just kind of scrubbed, and I'm just gonna quarter these, quarter them again, get it, look at that color, guys. If you don't have purple potatoes, don't worry, you can use any kind of potato, fingerling potato works well. Just make sure you get it nice and small pieces so they roast up. God, you know, it's just, it's a good day. I was, I was waking up this morning, put my music on shuffle, Higher Love came on, the original, not the Kygo remix, and that song just fires me up. Bring me your higher love. And then with those potatoes, to kind of keeping with the North African theme, what I'm gonna do, I got a mixing bowl here. We could just put harissa paste on, but then everything's gonna taste the same, so we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna take these, and you could just do olive oil, salt, pepper, you'll be fine but I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, North African spices. So I'm gonna go in with some paprika, garlic powder, cinnamon. Cinnamon's a big flavor. Again, I'm going nuts. You don't have to, if you don't have all these spices, don't worry. A little turmeric, look at that. Nice color on the turmeric. And then a little bit of cumin. And then olive oil. Of course, you need some salt. Chicken thighs, hit them with salt on top too. And we toss those potatoes, boom. Oh, almost perfect. Close but no cigar. And then that goes on the tray, right off the side. Those are gonna roast up. Well, that goes in the sink. This goes in the oven, 400 degrees. 30 minutes, I think, is what it's gonna take on these. 30 to 40 minutes. These are kind of big thighs, so we'll check on them after 30. But those potatoes will get nice and crisp. Let's make sure those are all even on the tray. Look at that heat from the oven. The heat from the oven is coming in your face. Coming in hot, boom. Say goodbye. Bring me your higher love. Oh. It's been going for about 15 minutes now. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna glaze this chicken now halfway through to really make sure we get all that flavor in there. So if you are, if you don't have anything left in your bowl from before, go on with a little bit more harissa paste, I don't know, another tablespoon, tablespoon of honey, a little bit of unsalted butter, call that two tablespoons of butter. Pop this in the microwave, 15 seconds just to get that butter melted. And then we're gonna just brush, we're gonna glaze, we're gonna glaze. Bring me your higher, and then just paint, and just go Picasso, just paint. Just paint. We're almost in built in a day. Just paint. You can do this as many times as you want. Maybe two or three times would be great. At least once though. Just give it a brush one time. And there we go. We go back into the oven. We are back. It's been about 40, 45 minutes. Those thighs were a little bigger, so it took longer, but it's time to check on them. I think they are smelling amazing. And look at that. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that color. See, we got some gnarly bits here. We got some crispy skin on top. Look at that bubble. Look at that. You hear that? You probably can't hear that. It's a nice, oh my God, that's what we're talking about. This is gonna be, I gotta go on for a potato. It's so hot. It's so hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was already in a good mood. Now I'm in a great mood. Now I'm in a fantastic mood. You cannot take this away from me. You can't ruin my day with food like this. Come on, how can you not smile? How can you not smile with this in front of you? I'm busting. <laughs> that, that, that sounded fucking weird. I don't know if that's gonna make it in. I'm not busting. 
Holy shit, what am I even saying? Let's just film this shit, bro. Bring me your higher love. That's a little odd. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right, let's play this up. You know what would be great with this? Some couscous. When the fuck do you say it like that? This would be great if you have some rice or you have some couscous. Mmm, it's delicious. I'm fine with just potatoes and chicken thigh. A little bit of parsley goes on top. A nice little dollop of yogurt would be nice too. A little you chew, boom, ching. I'm just spinning, the wheels are spinning, the wheels are turning, and look at this. And then let's go and get a little piece of skin on there. Get everything in one bite. Look at that, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, I'm going one more, one more. You get the spice and you get that honey. You get that honey, you get that spice. That's sweet, that spice. That's the game we play. That's the game we play. Let's get it. Fucking call it. Did you see that? You run that back. That was a nice catch. Knife toss. That's amazing. That is what I'm talking about. That is so easy to do. One ingredient is really all you need. Harissa paste and chicken thighs. Pop it in the oven. Bob's your uncle. You're winning. I'll see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace.